All right, as you can see, one of my favorite places lately, as far as pricing goes, and uh, quality hasn't been bad, Palmetto State Armory. Uh, I've heard mixed things a lot about them. I had to throw my own money out there to uh, kind of put it to the test. I don't like going by what everyone else says. I want to take all that in and still try them out, give them my own benefit of the doubt, and uh, see. The seal is already broken on this because I had to do a transfer. This is a complete firearm. Um, so I had to check it out in the store, and then I, I brought it here and I looked at it a little bit more. But uh, either way, here we go. So, it looks a lot like the uh, budget AR-15 that I actually just bought and all kind of did a build for, but something bigger and better. I already filled this up actually, but as you can see, this is an A223. This is an AR-10 or the uh, PSA PA-10 say the gen 2 they had it on sale i caught that i snapped this thing up on a memorial day special uh, they were running 6.99 just the way you see it right here no ammo but mag mag pull furniture the grip the stock the 18 inch stainless steel barrel 15 inch free flow handguard uh, just the way you see it 6.99 free shipping all right i think it's 15 dollars shipping let me actually show you, I had it pulled up on my phone, but this is what I got. So, looks like there's a skew there. It is now out of stock, but I can understand why at that price. But all right, right out of the box, let's see, what do we got? This was, the mag was in this. It is a Magpul mag, the uh, PMAG 25 LR SR Gen 3. Um, we got a bag with some goodies. Warranty, warranty registration. Their basic ass PA-10 manual. Pretty basic. As always, nice Palmetto State Armory sticker. Um, they included a lock, which I wasn't expecting. Not that I'm going to use it, but uh, the lower I bought from them last time didn't include one. I mean, it was a complete lower, so that's weird. But we got a lock. That was cool. They threw that in. And got some spare parts, too. Looks like. Some different back straps, which I didn't even know you could swap out the back straps on the knife hole grips, but I don't really even know the difference between these two. But I guess that's cool if they do interchange. It looks like maybe I don't even know. This one's okay. This one's more flat. This one's got more of a rounded back. And I think I'm guessing this is something to do with the grip also. And then we have another screw. Kit hardware, this is for the grip. So I'm guessing it's just a spare because I already have one. Because the grip's already mounted. So. Stop, inspect the firearm before transferring. Already done. Take the mag out. And I bought a couple boxes while I was at the shop there to try out because uh, I, I want to make sure this brand, I've been really liking the PMC brand, but the price, this is at my local FFL. What is it, can you see that? $28.99 for 20 rounds. I mean, what a highway robbery. I'll be buying this stuff online. That's just me. I know my local shops gotta make their money, but not double on me. So let's take this bad boy out. Put that out of the way. And give it a close look around. 
So it looks pretty much just like the the AR-15 I did, like I said, but uh, barrel's definitely thicker. Both an 18-inch barrel that I've done. Uh, it's got, I don't think my other AR has these bulging out on the side there. It doesn't bother me, just uh, kind of noticing it. And we'll go ahead and clear this. Lock it open. Alright, take the flag indicator out so you know it's empty. And I will go ahead and close this. Standard uh, bolt carrier group for this. I might end up switching out for a nickel boron. I don't know yet. Um, some of the key mod stuff I just did in my last video, I was actually going to save for this, but I really wanted it to get the other one done. So I'm going to just order some other accessories, like a little grip, foregrip here. I do have a bipod I just got. I'm going to mount that when I get home. Um, I'll probably put that in this video too, just show you with it on. But I don't have any other foregrip, so I'll have to wait on that. But everything i mean even from the slide I, i've seen other videos where their their slides not necessarily the ar-10 but the ar-15s when they just right from the factory we just hear metal on metal grinding in there i don't hear any of that everything sounds clean it's well oiled um, i like the nine pull stock that's on it I'll, I'll, i might end up switching this out if this thing ends up being tried through at the range put a couple hundred rounds through it. I'm gonna probably put like a PRS stock. I've always wanted one of those. I just don't know how much I'm gonna sink into this until I see how reliable it is. But if it's uh, everything I hope it is, then a couple little upgrades. And we'll see, I might swap this grip out for the one I have that didn't fit on the other one, if it'll fit on this. But, and I haven't decided, maybe you guys can help with what kind of optic um, I'm, really up in the fence on that. I have I have the red dot on my 223 that you guys just did. There you, uh, you guys just seen the video on with the three times magnifier. Uh, I already have a nine by, was it? Three by nine by 40 millimeter on my other AR, which I'm gonna do another uh, video for that for you guys. So I don't, I, I don't know what I wanna do with this. If I wanna just do like an ACOG, uh, I mean, I eventually, or originally I was thinking a nice 50 millimeter scope, something, but I'm, I'm still kind of on the fence on the reliability of this. So I will definitely, that will help make my decision. But if you guys have any suggestions, throw them in the comments. I'm open to uh, really throw anything on it. For now, just to go to the range, I'm gonna put uh, some cheap flip ups or some Magpul flip ups on there just to put some rounds through it at the range and get it broken. And, that will help definitely make my decision on what kind of optic I want to put on it and how much I'm going to invest into this. But for now, this is what I got. And yeah, that's it. That's all I got for you today. Um, uh, this was, like I said, last minute, but I had to do a, I had to, I couldn't pass it up. I mean, $6.99, kind of hard to uh, beat. I can't really build it for cheaper. And I don't necessarily know if I would want to. So, uh, but I still do in the future want to build one, a uh, custom one that I pick part for part and do it from bottom up. But that that'll be way down the road. But for now, this is uh, this fit the budget. So, all right, guys. If you have any uh, questions or anything, hit me up in the comments down below. Um, please like and subscribe and all that good shit. And I'll keep these videos coming. All right, y'all, take it easy.